Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Thank you so much for joining me with another episode of I Love Lucy Factor Fiction. Don't forget guys and gals to support the channel by giving this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy and subscribe for more content. The more subscribers I get, the greater chance that I can make more videos that I can spread to so many more people. Now, if you're a keen watcher of I Love Lucy, I am sure you noticed this man. His name is Jerry Hausner. He played, of course, Jerry, Ricky's agent, on many of the first episodes of I Love Lucy, ranging from seasons one, two, and culminating with season three. Now, was it true that there was a quarrel or a feud between Jerry Hausner and Desi Arnaz, other known as Ricky Ricardo? Why did Jerry Hausner all of a sudden disappear after the Fad Magazine interview episode? Why wasn't he in seasons four, five, and six? Hmm, was he fired? Did he quit? Well, I'm going to tell you in this video. Jerry Hausner had played Ricky's agent for two and a half years on I Love Lucy. He recalls a scene where him and Desi were together and he was supposed to call him from a payphone. This was from the episode Fan Magazine Interview. However, the set with the payphone was on the opposite end of the soundstage. So during rehearsals, the phones were not connected. In other words, it was basically impossible for them to hear each other without cues. So Jerry went to Desi and said, I don't think it's going to work out. Desi reassured him that the phones would be connected by Thursday night when the show would be filmed in front of a live studio audience. Now here's where guys and gals there's a bit of a discrepancy because there's a little bit of a difference between Desi and Jerry Hausner's story. Desi basically puts the blame on Jerry and of course Jerry puts the blame on Desi and the phones not being able to work. I'm going to leave it up to you to think who was right, who was in the wrong, that's not for me to say. I'm just going to give the thoughts and the facts that were left and you can make up your own mind. Now this of course are stills from the episode in question. Now this is according to Jerry Hausner. He said the night of the show they did the scene, the phones were still not connected. It didn't go very well as he had expected. The audience was laughing in the wrong places. When the scene was over, Desi stormed across the soundstage and cursed him out in front of the entire cast, crew, audience, around 400 people. He couldn't believe it. He said in his entire professional career, he never had been treated so badly. Jerry said that he couldn't believe it. So he went over to Jess Oppenheimer, who was of course the head producer, and told him that he would never again do the show. Of course, Jess agreed, and he thought it was terrible what Desi had done. But they had to do another scene together, and that's this one where they were at the club. And according to Jerry, it was very difficult for him to look at Desi in the face. He was just so ashamed, and he felt just horrible. But of course, they were professional, and I think they did a pretty good job ending the show. Now, according to Jerry, he also said some insults to Arnaz. He said, all your talent is in your wife's name. I'll be on this show when you're off it. And a funny thing is, six years later, after Lucy and Desi's divorce, Lucy was doing a different series, and he had Jerry on it. And Lucy said to him, well, you were right. You're here, and he's not. So that's the story, guys and gals. After the scene ended for Jerry, it was said that he walked out of the soundstage, got in his car, and left. In essence, never to be heard from again by the cast. He, of course, did other things, and he was a pretty prolific voice actor. But other than that, that was his stint on I Love Lucy, and that's why he didn't appear for the rest of the series. They cast different actors as Ricky's agent, and they moved things around. But that was pretty much it. What are your thoughts down below, guys and gals? Of course, I went more into Jerry's side. Not that I agree with him or disagree with him, but I wanted to bring his perspective into this and listen to your thoughts. All right, guys and gals, thank you so much for your love and support as always. And don't forget to always stay positive, push through any problems and negativity that you may have. And most importantly, be hopeful.